Hello ladies, I uh, trying to get this figured out about the discussion board that's one o'clock in the morning on Monday and I fear this is going to be a relatively long tutorial but I did want to try to get it to you while I still know what the heck I'm doing here. Okay, um, there's a lot of things here about trying to set this up. What we're doing here is trying to set up the discussion board so that a group will only see the discussion boards for their group. So say they're in group three, they're going to see units one, two, three, four, and five, but only the group three boards. They're not going to see the big long master list of all ten groups uh, for each unit. So it's been causing a lot of confusion for students and it's actually very confusing for us as instructors as well, I think. So hopefully, even though this is kind of a long and tedious process to get this done, I think it's good to do and it's probably fine that it took till now to figure it out uh, because you get the drop ads up until this past Sunday and that might have caused us some grief in trying to go back and sort these through. So um, there's a few steps involved here and hopefully I'll be coherent in explaining them but the first thing you really need to do, I'm going to do this with, I'm working on my survey of rock music history class so that's where I'm going to do do all the work here to show you but it's the same for the world music class okay <clears throat> sorry try to talk faster the thing is I've got the class open as an instructor and then I also have it open as a student okay I did the test student um, I don't know if Sun Min knows how to do a test student or not but in any case so I just want to show you what you need to do it's all done in the instructor mode but I can sh sh bounce over to the student mode so you can see how it looks to the students all right, so you get to this uh, first page and you go into your class. And the first thing you're actually going to need to do is make sure you have a list of who all is in what group. So the easiest way that I do this, um, I go to edit mode off, right? And then I'll click over to the groups. Which one am I in here? Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Edit mode on, and I can see groups, okay. So you click on groups with the edit mode on, and then you turn it off, and it leaves you on this page. And I don't know why I couldn't get to it before, but anyway. Um, so then you click discussion, click the discussion group you want, and you highlight the list of names, and copy them and then just in a word document right you paste it and those are all your names for group one right so again let me do that again let's say you're in courses from the beginning go to your class right edit mode is probably on so you want to go to groups Okay, and that'll show you the list of all these groups. Then you want to click edit mode off. There's other ways you can do this, but this is just the way I do it. Discussion group two. That shows you everybody in the group. Highlight them. Copy. <coughs> go to your whoops. Go to your Word document. Paste them. And there you got group two. Let me try to do it a different way here from edit mode on. All right, so discussion group three. I think I can click on this. Yep, there you go. So you just click this right arrow next to discussion group three. It's the group home page. And you can do the same thing, presumably. Just highlight the names. Go to your Word document, paste them in. Whoops. There. Paste them in. Okay. So, you need to make this separate list because you're going to need to know uh, who who's in each group uh, later on. So, I already did this uh, with these guys here, and I gave them nice titles. Group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Rock History Spring 1, 2012. Okay. So... Now, next thing you have to do, OK, 
Okay, we'll get back here to this home page. So now here's where you're going to do the discussion boards. You need to be uh, edit mode on, right? edit mode on, click on discussions so that you see your master list of discussions, right? And then whatever board you're going to set here, I'm on the first one in unit two. Okay, you go to the discussion board, you click the drop down and click on manage, manage. And that will bring up a list of everybody. Now, this could be very tedious, but I've kind of minimized a little bit of the work. What you're going to do first thing, scroll all the way to the bottom and click Show All. Show All. All right. Then that obviously shows you everyone in the class. And you look on the right here, you'll see it says Forum Role Participant. That means everybody in the class can see this particular board. So what you're going to do is where it says edit role, go to the bottom item that says blocked and click blocked. Oops, I'm sorry. Actually, first you're going to check everybody. Then you're going to go to the edit role and click blocked. Okay. After you do that, it'll refresh and you'll see the forum role now says everybody is blocked. Actually, it doesn't let you see everybody. You have to click show all again in order to see everybody. The only one that's not blocked is going to be you as the instructor and your form role is as manager. But everybody else will be blocked. So that is where you need your nice list that you printed off, hopefully you printed it off, of the names of each group. So here we've got Bailey down to Crawford. Forget Shari and student, test student. So what you'll do is you'll come up here and you're going to just click Bailey down to Crawford. These are all the people that are in my group one. And I need to make them participants again so that they will be able to see the board and yet everyone else in the class cannot. Okay. So now you look over on the right, it says participant. Everybody else is blocked. And then you click OK. and you're done with uh, group one. So, uh, let me do it real quick for group two just to, while we're on that mode. All right, so unit two, this is the one I'm working on. Manage. Wait for it. Hello. Do it again. And there it comes, okay. All right, so everybody says participant, so we need to scroll to the bottom, show all, click edit role, oh wait, click everybody, checkbox everybody, then click edit role, blocked, everybody changes to blocked, then I gotta go to my little list here, group two is Dantimo down to Ezo, Dantimo down to Ezo. And Timo down to Ezo, and then everybody in between, because I'm easy in doing them alphabetical. Click all them, and I change their role to participant. Now they are participants, and everyone else is blocked. I click OK. All right. So now, just to show you, as a student, I'm going to move over to student. Whoosh. And I go in the class. And again, this is, you know, we made it so they can't get to the discussions, which actually, once you've accomplished this, if you want to put the discussions uh, link in the menu on the left side, you'll be able to do that because they'll only be able to see their boards for their group now. So that's something you can consider. But right now, as it is, the way that they accidentally get to um, that master list of discussion boards, they go into their unit materials, and then they see their discussion board here and they click on it and they think everything is fine and they're like oh wait but what was the question I don't remember so they click this discussion board and oops it takes them somewhere where they didn't want to be which is this master list right that's where some of the confusions resulted but as you can see I've uh, already done unit one all they can see is this unit one's discussion group five in unit two, we wiped 
1 and 2, but they can still see 3, 4, and their own group, which is 5. And then they also see all these other ones, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that I've yet to block them from. So what I'll end up doing is blocking all these boards that aren't group 5 for this particular student. right? And then when they go to it, it'll just be like unit 1 here. All they'll see is unit 1, group 5, unit 2, group 5, unit 3, group 5. And that'll be all that they see. All right. So that's uh, how that gets done, and hopefully that wasn't too long, and you'll be able to work your way through it without uh, more demonstration. If you have questions, let me know. Bye.